Good morning, friends. It is, let's see, 7.57. And it's funny, I actually live close enough to um, the Little Creek Navy base that I can hear um, Rubley playing. So it's funny to still hear that in the morning. Um, you might hear my kids, they're out having breakfast, but I wanted to sit down real quick because this will um, officially be my entry into the bodybuilding.com spokesmodel search for this year. This is something that, um, you know, it's it's crazy to enter, I feel like, because, um, I, you know, I follow a lot of the past winners and a lot of the people who are entering this year on social media, and there's a lot of people that have much bigger followings and um, have had a lot more influence, and, you know, so it can be kind of intimidating, but um, this is something that I love and bodybuilding.com has been a huge part of my fitness journey. And so um, why not, you know? So the questions that we um, are asked to answer for the entry are um, why we wanna be a part of the team and um, let's see, because you know, mom brain. Okay, why do you wanna be on team bodybuilding.com? Why do you build your body? How do you inspire others to build their body? So um, I'm gonna do them out of order. Well, you know, it all started mostly when I met my husband and um, he was very fit and very active and I was not so much and um, we met and then three months later he went on deployment and so while he was gone that was how I entertained myself for lack of better words. Um, that summer was the first time I did an endurance race. I did the men's health urban athlon and that really just lit a, fi lit a fire in me and um, you know so now I have done I think five half marathons, three bodybuilding shows to include um, the Arnold, and um, I have been nationally qualified. I um, have improved all of my half marathons each time, which is exciting. I've done two powerlifting competitions, and it really has just come down to the fact that my entire life, um, you know, when I was younger, I would find one reason or another to quit something when it got hard. And um, now as a wife and a mother and just a grown ass woman, I like pushing myself to new limits. And I like to get to where things get hard and then keep going. And I like setting goals and then achieving them. And it really is as simple as that, is, you know, just writing down goals and then getting shit done. So, um, you know, I now I have two kids. I have a four-year-old son and a two-year-old daughter, and it's about continuously improving for them, showing them how to set goals and then meet them. Um, I want to be that mom who can always be active with them. My son and I are doing our first race together for Halloween, and um, this is just something I've always dreamt of, is sharing this with them. And my husband has been at all of my events cheering me on. He's my number one fan, you know, and so it just, it means a lot to me to look out from a powerlifting platform or the stage or to find him on the race course and see him. And he just really fuels that fire for me. And so my family has just become a big part of why I do this. Like, it's awesome to, you know, get shredded for stage and stuff like that. But really my family is what it's all about. You know, when I got started using um, the different programs that I found on bodybuilding.com, I found a lot of really awesome, strong women. And now, you know, women like Ashley Horner and Jesse Hilgenberg, um, seeing them with their families and um, Brandon Foken. And I really just loved watching them and the, you know, having their son Easton and just all of that. And so it's, it's been kind of cool because I liked all of these people before they were family people. And then now, um, you know, we all have kids. And so they've been great um, role models for me to look up to through this journey that like, it can be hard, you can get it done. Like it takes work, it takes balance and knowing when to pull back and stuff. And so really just joining a team that really um, understands and accepts and supports um, making bodybuilding a part of your life. You know, bodybuilding doesn't have to be your life. It can be a part of your life. And just having that platform 
to inspire other women you know whether they you know do have families or they want them someday or they don't want them someday and they just want to be their best self you know like right now we're going through so much where um you know there's just there's so much pressure put on men and women everywhere from the workplace to at home you know people are constantly feeling like they're never enough and that's just been my goal since i really found my groove in all of this is to help other people know that like you are enough and by setting goals and achieving them it kind of helps you really fulfill that and um really know it within you know without having to go to other people and find that i've found that i have way more confidence at 30 and with kids and stuff like that than I ever had when I was younger. Um, and it really, it came down to a lot of experience and just doing things um, my own way, but taking in, you know, good advice and good plans from others and just being able to help spread the word and answer questions, be a shoulder to cry on, be somebody that people can turn to and recognize like, okay, she's being honest and open and this is how she's done things and I can do it too you know that would just be so meaningful to me and so um, I could ramble on forever so I'm gonna cut this short but really it just comes down to the fact that I love bodybuilding.com I have been a body space member for a million years um, I actually if you look at this I've got 341 workouts tracked and um, it's like 5 million pounds lifted or something and um, I think I had another account at some point and I don't know what happened to it so I had to restart this one I tried to scroll back to see when it started and I couldn't find it but I've logged 5.2 million pounds of weight lifted so um, you know bodybuilding.com just been a big part of my life for many years and um, being a part of the greatest team oh my gosh spider-man Say hi. Hi. <laughs> All right, guys. I got to go be mom. Um, good luck to everybody who has entered the search. I really hope that maybe I get the opportunity to continue on. But um, we got to go eat our breakfast so we can go to the gym. Transport with Spider-Man. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, guys.